left and right, just beyond the thousand foot clock with 528, 276. Muscle up the Pacific Northwest played host to a tremendous NHRA national event here at the picturesque Pacific Raceways in the Flavar Pack Northwest Nationals. The alcohol cars were here in competition. As you saw, the opening footage was Madison Payne defeating Casey Grizzle in round two action of Top Alcohol Dragster, which is where that class picked up in eliminations on Sunday morning. Jackie Frick, the number one qualifier in Top Alcohol Dragster, had a bye run in the second round, but there was a titanic matchup between Joey Severance and Sean Cowie in round two here at Pacific Raceways. With Joey Severance turning on that wind light, he would go into the semifinals with a buy run to get him into the final round here at the Flavar Pack Northwest Nationals. Jackie Frick and Madison Payne would face each other a rematch of a elimination round at Woodburn in regional action that Madison did in fact win. A speak with Miss Payne. Well, a young lady that has certainly shown a lot of muscle out here in the top alcohol dragster ranks is Madison Payne. Madison, that year has already had its ups and downs, but it's looking upward here at the Northwest Nationals. Yep, so far so good. So we're just hoping that we can get by to the semis and go to the finals and hopefully win. Being on the uh, West Coast, uh, your home coast, if you will, winning somewhere like a Pacific Raceways I'm sure that would make yourself, the family, the team feel mighty good. Yeah, it would. Uh, I only have two wins, but both those wins came from the West Coast. So I like it here, and I think it likes me so far. So we're hoping to keep it going. Jackie prevailing over Madison Payne, she would face the defending world champion and top alcohol dragster Joey Severance. Jackie, though, is the defending race winner of this event. This year, though, she has made a multitude of final rounds and has yet to earn a Wally. Jackie Frick, I have heard her say many one words. One I can't repeat. The other one at the end of a wheat field was interesting. With a win, what is the one word, Jackie? Grateful. Grateful to be a part of this team. You just made me emotional, but really grateful to be a part of this team. Uh, they're behind me no matter what. Um, drive all the way across the country because I feel good at this track for whatever reason. And... Um, they give me everything I need to succeed. Uh, John Fink is an amazing person to drive for. I was in the wheat field last weekend, and I was at the uh, holding the trophy this weekend, and he gives me the same smile, makes me a drink, and uh, we always we always have fun, win, lose, or draw here. 
Jackie Frick, the top alcohol dragster champion of the Northwest Nationals. In top alcohol funny car competition, they would begin Sunday with their semi-final round due to a short field and their ladder. In that semi-final round, there was a major matchup between Brian Howe and Doug Gordon, defending world champion in top alcohol funny car. Brian Howe comes into Pacific Raceways with a win under his belt from the Woodburn Regional, but Doug Gordon hadn't been in competition since the Norwalk National event, where he went out in round Round two, falling victim to Matt Geel. In the video, Annie Whiteley, the number three qualifier in the top alcohol funny car field, prevailed over the number two qualifier, Mike Dushgunin, who did have carnage in round one, throwing some rods, which caused them to work late in the night. So impressive for them to have such a stellar run, even though he did turn on that evil red light. Let's speak with the competitors going into the final round. The work is going in to turn the car around for the defending world champion in Top Alcohol Funny Car, Doug Gordon, and you look like you're in championship trim, putting out their low ET and top speed in that last round. Yeah, that was a performance run right there. You know, we changed motors yesterday and it smoked the tires first round, luck we had a buy. And, uh, you know, so we were like, well, I don't know, this motor might be making more power and uh, definitely showed it was and you know we thought we could run 45 46 in these conditions and go run 44 was impressive we're happy we're going to the final we'll see what we can do there Annie Whiteley is going to the final round here at the Northwest Nationals at Pacific Raceways Annie you got a tough tough customer over there in the other lane in the defending world champion Doug Gordon give us the rundown of your event so far and can you beat him in the final um well we're going to try to beat him he has outran me every pass but um we're gonna we're gonna try really hard. So um, the event's been a wonderful event. Um, it, it, Seattle's always great. So. Doug Gordon is the top alcohol funny car champion here at the Northwest Nationals. This has got to definitely help in the points chase for another championship, Doug. You know, we wanted we want this championship bad. It's my last chance, you know, with Maddie gonna go next year. So this is big. You know, we we need to win races. We know that Bellamere's and you know Matt Gills, these other guys are winning races, and for us to have a chance to win the championship, we're gonna have to win a lot. So these final rounds is like, oh, you know, we lost a couple this year and stuff. It's like can't give up those 21 points and this was a big win big win also i think it has to mean a lot to the team y'all had to work hard to get this one this was not an easy win even though low et of the meat and top speed yeah you know you hurting that motor you know was a actually ended up being a blessing in the end you know we ended up 
that motor, the other previous motor we figured out, it just wasn't making the power as uh, you know it should have been. So the motor had been in there too long. We were trying to, we were going to change it out after this weekend and uh, put this other motor in, and we blew the tires off of it, and it started running good. It was like, wow, this thing's making power. So we got our car back, and we're now we're excited to get going to Pika, Brainerd, Indy, and uh, see what we can do. In conclusion, here at the Flavor Pack Northwest Nationals, Jackie Frick picks up her first Wally of 2023, defending her national event title right here at Pacific Raceways. Doug Gordon certainly looks to be in championship trim, going low ET and top speed of the meet. We're all looking forward to the next national event where alcohol will be competing at, and that is the national event at Topeka. And it seems like all the heavy hitters will be there vying for their place in the point standings and for the world championship. I do wanna add the remark concerning Pacific Raceways and it being my first time visit here, that this is a tremendous facility. Certainly it might not be the Bellagio of drag strips such as a Z-Max, but it has a quaint nature nestled in a beautiful setting here in the Pacific Northwest that everyone should experience if you're a drag racer or a drag racing fan. This is a must on your drag strip list. I'm Lee Kraft, the Monday Morning Racer, giving you this top alcohol report from Pacific Raceways, the Flavor Pack Northwest Nationals, brought to you by McKinney Corp.